Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 15 in chapter 10. In this one, we look at this model. We can see we have two parts, right? This this rotate, do the circular rotation around this large circle, and this small circle still do the rotation. So first one, we look at the small circle. And if we rotate in this way, that means the angle of velocity omega 1 to the negative i component. Do you agree? We use the right hand rule. You can do that. The four fingers follow this circle. The one thing, the last finger just pointing to this di direction. This is omega 1. Similarly, we can get the direction for omega 2. It's just up for this circle. Up. So we get omega 2. So omega 2 is vertically up. Omega 1 is negative i component. Agree? The now we need to find this addition for these two angular velocities. We know these two angular velocities are vectors. So we add them together. We can consider the triangle rules, right? So we use this way. We find the magnitude of this addition angular, uh, angular velocity and the angle theta. The next one, we need to find the angular acceleration. For angular acceleration, there we must consider this angular velocity is a vector. It equals two components, omega 1 and omega 2. Agree? And then for this omega 1 plus omega 2, we can see omega, omega 2 is very independent with omega 1. It just rotate in this way. It's up, so this is a constant, right? Pointing up. But omega one, or omega one, we need to consider two part. First part, it is rotated with this small circle, omega one, and also it uh, rotated with omega two, right? For time delta, for, we say for time t, for time t, how much angle it moved? Like from the initial, it is there, and then for delta t. The angle it moved is omega two, omega two t. Agree? This is the angle, and then we can project this angle in x component and y component, and we get these two component, right? This is in unit vector, and then we need to times the magnitude omega one. Then we get the final answer for omega one. There you can see only omega one related to the time t. If we want to find the circle, the angular acceleration, we just use the derivation omega with the t. So this one is constant, so it's zero. So we just consider the d omega 1 with dt. Do this integral, uh, do this derivation, we get the equation look like this one. And at t equal to zero, we get the final answer. Thank you.